Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Let's talk about the separation of powers. It's very important that the different branches of government are kept separated. This is to provide checks and balances. As I was saying, the separation makes it possible for branches. What in the world? Attorney General Muhammad Apandi Ali has been urged to resign over a video allegedly depicting him dancing with several cabinet ministers during the National Day celebration last week. Critics have raised concerns that the AG has placed his impartiality into question. Kami kesemua penanda tangan surat ini menuntut anda untuk meletak jawatan anda sebagai peguam negara Malaysia dengan serta merta yakni dalam tempoh 24 jam dari tarikh penyerahan surat ini. The Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission has found no element of graft in the pen drive provided by Johor Crown Prince Tunku Ismail Sultan Ibrahim. This is despite claims by the Crown Prince that the pen drive contains documents detailing graft within the Football Association of Malaysia. Former Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad appeared in the High Court in Kuala Lumpur today to attend Anwar Ibrahim's application to challenge the controversial National Security Council Act. When Mahathir and Anwar met in the courtroom, they both greeted each other and shook hands. Mahathir then gave Anwar, the man he sacked in 1998 as Deputy Prime Minister, a pat on his arm. Party Amana Negara has submitted an official request for issues surrounding 1MDB to be discussed in the Conference of Rulers at its meeting next month. Amana Communications Director Khaled Samad said the move was necessary. The Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission is reportedly investigating another Kuala Lumpur City Hall senior officer this time for alleged corruption in contracts involving a crematorium in the city. According to a report in the Metro section of the Star today, the official had reportedly awarded two contracts between 2015 and 2016. Former Saim Dhabi CEO Ahmad Zubir Murshid was acquitted today over two counts of criminal breach of trust. This follows the public prosecutor's decision to discontinue the trial brought against Zubir in 2012 due to lack of evidence. Zubir was charged with CBT that allegedly cost the company over 100 million ringgit in losses. And with that, we end our fact sheet for today. Please leave a comment, hit like and subscribe. I'm Sam Michael, thanks for watching.